When it comes to cushion to weight ratio, the Rincon 3 is where it's at. This high cushion, low weight shoe is gonna be great, whether it be for your walks or your long runs. This shoe has a fun heel tab on the back that we haven't seen yet before from different Hoka shoes. It's almost like a string to make it easy to hook your finger in and pop it on when you're ready to go. It has a very thin, breathable tongue, so if you look at the tongue, it's a lot thinner than we've seen from previous models from Hoka. You're also gonna get a nice, lightweight, breathable upper, while the Rincon always has a nice, breathable upper. This one is definitely engineered for longevity too, not just for the lightweightness. On the bottom, you'll see a new tread pattern by Hoka. They have kind of aggressive cutouts in the bottom to cut weight where they don't need it, but to add cushion in a sense. With the rubber, it's placed very specifically to make sure the tread holds up well, but doesn't wear down too quickly. Key differences you're gonna get between the Rincon 2 and the Rincon 3 is they changed the early stage meta rocker just slightly to make it a little more aggressive. They also re-engineered that upper of course, you see this with most brands, lighter weight, more breathable. They changed the tail on the back. So you actually see a slit in the tail on the back right here that you didn't see in the previous model. To me, they're just cutting weight where they can to make the shoe even lighter and more cushioned. Um, but it is more of a kind of style choice, I would say. Of course, they did change the tread pattern slightly so you get a little more wear at your Rincons. I remember when the Rincon 1 came out, people were going through them fairly quickly because of how lightweight the foam was. Um, but this tread should help with that quite a bit between the two and the three. This shoe is definitely a shoe you can use for light speed workout. I wouldn't get too aggressive with it, but in terms of what it's good for, I would say longer distance running. This shoe would be perfect for kind of like high school cross country kids or even walkers for something like that. It does have slightly less arch support than other Hoka models. Um, so just keep that in mind. It is a true neutral shoe though. So if you don't have a neutral gate, probably wouldn't be your best bet, but it to me seems like a longer distance running shoe that really packs, like I said, high cushion, very lightweight though.